I came here several times with my father when I was little. But I stopped eating here as often after growing up. I hope the food here will be to your taste. Oh, don't worry. We haven't eaten at a hotel like this in a while. <laughs> Paimon's getting excited already! Well, in that case, I'll go order for us first. Please wait here a moment. Ooh, everything looks so good! People in Fontaine sure know how to enjoy life! Why, of course! Go ahead, try whatever you like. If the food's good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. And if it's not? Well, uh... <laughs> then I'll still bring everyone. Albeit with only one dish per table. You, uh... Sure have your own way of doing things. Oh, we called this a farewell meal, but we could also treat it like a victory feast, right? We did just win that case after all. Oh, true. Very true. In that case, boss... We'll have another two dishes. Huh? Well, Paimon didn't mean that you had to order even more food. <laughs> Speaking of cases, do you think that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened? Well, we've certainly taken a big step forward, but I feel that's about it. We know that there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women. But we still don't know what they are really after. If it hadn't happened right in front of us, Paimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like that. <laughs> right? Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. Ugh. If only that guy could have finished speaking! <sighs> we were so close to hearing who was- In such investigations, even the smallest step can seem like, to be honest, I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability, it's just that a different perspective is required. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single, narrow perspective. A shift which is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. Those highfalutin folk are not all-knowing. That's why we exist. To seep into the cracks where filth falls through. Where their watch fails them. That's the kind of problems we solve. Hmm. Seems Paimon thought things were simpler than they actually are. <sighs> it's all right. Well, <laughs> this was supposed to be a farewell meal. So I doubt you have further interest in this business, right? Let's talk about something else. Like, uh, what are your future plans? That's true. We didn't have a chance to speak to her after the trial ended. It didn't really seem like the right time or place to do it anyway. Hmm. I see. So, your primary objective, which has been foiled so far, was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. I've heard that there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady Farina. I suspect you'll be waiting for quite a while, considering that you missed your chance today. Yeah. We've heard that she's super popular here in Fontaine, and that it'll be tough getting any of her time. Hmm. Well, would you consider some more, uh, unique ways? Perhaps even methods of, uh, let's say, questionable legality? Guess that's Spina di Rosula's bus for you. Chock full of sketchy ideas. Well, what did you have in mind? Well... One way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her after the performance. I'm sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending, and would agree in order to finish watching the play, don't you think? Uh, could you suggest something a little more practical? This plan seems pretty hard to pull off. We'd have to go learn how to act, and acting's really hard. <sighs> All right, here's another. Find a way to conceal yourselves under her bed. Then, wake her up in the dead of night and demand answers. Don't let her go back to sleep until she answers all your questions. I can personally testify that this one works. When I'm sleepy, I'll do anything as long as I can finally get some sleep. Uh, that might work, but that's not really the problem. The 
problem is, we don't want to get ourselves arrested. Ah, valid point. I overlooked that part. I was just thinking about leveraging a person's desire for sleep. <laughs> all right, all right, no more joking around. Huh, perhaps you could... Oh, I don't know. Cut the line when she's on a break. You did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. False accusations she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite ashamed about the whole thing. You mean... That if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse? Oh, that does make some sense. Why don't we give it a try after this meal? You know, strike while the iron is hot and all. Huh? Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? Uh, was this your drink? <laughs> Sorry about that. Paimon wasn't really paying attention and the cup was right next to Paimon. Would you like to order another? No, it's fine. We're just about done here. Alright! Honestly, Paimon wouldn't recommend Fanta anyway. It tastes kind of salty and icky. Is that so? Huh. Well, in that case, we'll have to blacklist the Fanta here then. If we're all finished eating, then I'll go pay. Yeah, we're stuffed. Thanks for the treat, Navia. Oh, so full. Paimon can barely float anymore. Nah, that would be so... normal. You know, like you. Hmm. Okay... As for expenses this month, we're left with... Huh. Hey, Navia! What are you doing over there? Oh, nothing, nothing. It was just a meal, you know? Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. Bye, Navia! <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Well... If you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. I'll give your requests the highest priority. Ah, uh, in any case, I wish you smooth sailing. I'll see you again, partner. See ya! people around anymore. Looks like that boat we took to Araneus might have been the last one. The shame. Hmm. Looks like we're back here again. Huh? Traveler? Are you hearing voices again? Spooky. Are you sure we don't want to come back in the morning? Vache? Vache? Hey, why are you still walking towards it? There might be something nasty in the water. to hear a voice. It's calling for... Vache, right? Hey, Traveler? Stop walking! Come on, wake up! <sighs> hmm. 
Vache, are you... my dear Vache? No, wait. You seem to be someone else. Do you know Vache? Do you know where my love is? I'm... Wait. Who am I? I'm very sorry, I fear I do not know. My memories feel like they have been washed away like a flood. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide, never to be recovered. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land have I since forgotten? Yes, that is what I was once. But now, I am but the consciousness of... I do not know how I came to be like this either. I, on I also remember going to many places. I loved adventure, loved exploring places of peril. No matter where I went, Vache would go with me. I knew how dearly he loved me. And I also loved him equally as much. But now, we can no longer go back. The pain of such parting. I never knew how heavy it could be. No, our reunion no longer has any meaning. There is no way for us to create any new memories. The thought of me gives him no succor. So let it lie forgotten beneath the waters. If you meet Vashe, tell him not to look for me. Tell him to move on. That is the only thing I still remember. Perhaps that is so. As I was submerged in the waters, losing consciousness, I saw Vashe above the surface. His eyes were filled with such sorrow. If only I could have comforted him. Told him that I did not suffer. Is that what you call it? Dissolving? If anything, it was a state of neither fear nor frenzy. I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time. I think I hear your companion. It's time for farewell then. I am glad that you were able to sense Army of Gardamex. I should thank you for lending us your sword there, Clorand. But before I do so, could you explain how you managed to show up here? I... followed you. It seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely as of late. 
I believe that following someone without their knowledge is actually called stalking, is it not? Mr. Callus's last wish was for me to ensure your safety, and I will not betray his trust. He would do the same were he alive today. Do not speak of my father! Sorry, demoiselle. I was not strong enough. Thank you for your aid, Miss Corand, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. Sorry, I... did not consider your feelings. Whatever. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? I doubt I know much more than you. But I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. To be honest, I'm shocked it's taken them this long to act against me. And what about these Gardamax? I thought only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used by the authorities to enforce the law. I can only conclude that some powerful or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal means, deploying them as a private force of sorts. What? Your point being that they're out of Spina di Rosula's league, then? Yes. Be careful, and do not act rashly. I will continue investigating, no matter what. We will bring the truth to light. That's my father's true last wish. <laughs> Regardless, thank you for your help today, Clarand. But if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all. Right. I suppose that's the best news we've gotten today. Demoiselle, I believe that Miss Clorand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. <sighs> I know, I just... She's... Ugh. Oh, thank goodness! Paimon thought we were done for! Those Gardamex came out of nowhere while you were unconscious, and Nadia and her gang saved us! Oh, and there was that champion duelist named Clorin who came out to save us too! We got lucky there. Paimon probably couldn't have fought them off otherwise. Oh, <laughs> come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victory feast. As such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. It will take 50 years for me to match Demoiselle's magnanimity. If it were me, I... <laughs> All right, you two. That's enough. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time. Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. Huh? Really? Paimon contributed to that? Ooh, Paimon's even more amazing than she thought! Yes, all thanks to you grabbing my drink by mistake. How did that help? After we parted ways, I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of what you said. That the Fanta tasted kind of salty and icky. Fanta only comes in sweet flavors. So how could it have tasted salty? The color of the drink, if I recall, had also been a bit off. So the Fanta had been spiked with water from the Primordial Sea? Yes, so if you hadn't drunk that cup for me... Spina di Rosula is preparing the grandest of awards for you as we speak. Huh! Really? I sent people to Hotel de Boer to investigate, but whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger and hurried here as quickly as I could. But why would they go after us too? All we did was defend Linny and Court and help clear his name! Ugh, oh, now we're caught up in this mess too, aren't we? Well, you did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of, and almost got their name in the process. 
Speaking of which, did anything strange happen when you drank the primordial seawater? Well, it can't be coincidence that the traveler fainted just now. She said that she heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Oh, and this time Paimon heard it too! But it was real faint. Does this situation have to do with the primordial seawater then? Does that mean the primordial seawater raises someone's sensitivity to hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? That doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. New intel? While you were out cold? Uh, well, let's hear it, shall we? Oh, that is important. Vache, that name doesn't ring a bell. I suppose he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. Since he saw that young woman dissolve, he was at least at the crime scene. But he never gave testimony or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. Could he have been... threatened? Yes, thank you. This is very important information indeed. We will continue to investigate. Oh, you mean you'll help us investigate? Well, you did say that our farewell meal didn't really count. That means we're still partners, right? And besides, we're in this now whether we like it or not. You're not gonna let those people who targeted us get off the hook so easily, are you, Traveler? Demoiselle, do try not to look quite so pleased. You are the face of Spina di Rosula, after all. <coughs> you talk too much. Oh, well, in that case, we also have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. But we'll take that one step at a time, I guess. Don't worry, you two. With us around, our base is definitely secure. Love Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a heart? be an 
extra fee for that. Ah. Oh. Uh, I really want to go traveling. I don't mind where we go, as long as I have my friends with me. <laughs> I love Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a heart? time with the Spina has taught me that carrying an unreliable weapon is worse than not carrying one at all. It's right up ahead, but let's make sure we weren't followed first. I've been keeping watch, Demoiselle. I haven't spotted anyone suspicious thus far. Huh, very good. But let's not let our guard down for now. I shall find rooms for our respected guests. Thank you, Malus. Now, let's continue, Traveler. I do love Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a heart?
time with the Spina has taught me that carrying an unreliable weapon is worse than not carrying one at all. I really want to go traveling. I don't mind where we go, as long as I have my friends with me. <laughs> I do love Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a harp? want to go traveling. I don't mind where we go, as long as I have my friends with me. <laughs> Love Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a harp?
My time with the Spina has taught me that carrying an unreliable weapon is worse than not carrying one at all. I do love Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a heart? I really want to go traveling. I don't mind where we go, as long as I have my friends with me. <laughs> I do love Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a heart?
Uh, I really want to go traveling. I don't mind where we go, as long as I have my friends with me. <laughs> My time with the Spina has taught me that carrying an unreliable weapon is worse than not carrying one at all. your base? It's not quite what Paimon imagined. Your accommodations have been arranged. 
Under the present circumstances, I can confidently say it's the best we have. <laughs> well, our funds have been a little tight lately. After all, we don't allow illegal or unethical profiteering. In fact, our funds often come from citizenry who support us. Seems like it's tough times for everyone. But if you have the support of the people, that does sound like it's worth it. <sighs> to be honest, our financial situation was a lot better back when my father was in charge a few years ago. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm not quite his equal. Your father... He was the previous boss of Spina di Rosula, right? How did he... Uh, demoiselle, if you'll allow me to explain. Uh, no. I I'll explain it myself. I suppose I couldn't run from this topic forever. And, as partners, this is something I hope they can understand. My father's name is Callus. Yes, the same one they call Callus the Unfaithful in the streets. Three years ago, he was accused of murdering his own friend. But he chose a duel to defend his honor instead of standing trial. He died in the duelist's ring. Oh no. But I do not believe my father was a murderer. I'm sure he was set up. At the time, I believed that if he only stood trial and was duly investigated, something amiss would crop up and prove his innocence. But strangely, he not only requested the duel himself, but rumor has it that even after being seriously injured, to the point where he could be deemed as having lost the duel, he refused to surrender, determined to die in the arena. <laughs> Three years later, I still don't understand why he did that. How could he protect his honor if he's dead? <laughs> if anything, he gave up his chance to defend himself. The closest piece of info I have is that my father had been investigating the serial disappearances case at the time of his death. Ah, so that's why you're so determined to get to the bottom of that case. That's right. I've also tried to investigate the murder my father was implicated in. But <laughs> I haven't found a single new clue in my countless reviews of the investigation records. However, I believe that if the murder case is related to those behind the disappearances, they must know something. I must know what really happened. Was my father coerced? Framed? Even if he really did kill his friend, I must get to the truth. <sighs> if only he'd been more open with me when he was still alive. He even hid the fact that my mother died due to complications when giving birth to me. And now, here I am investigating his death. <laughs> you really are a handful, aren't you, Papa? So we'll never believe that Master Callus murdered anyone. Master Callus did so much good in life, yet even our supporters decreased greatly due to that incident. Wait! If Callus was such a good man, wouldn't people at least be a little suspicious when he was accused? Uh, no. Perhaps people just revel in that kind of drama. It's not something exclusive to people from Fontaine, really. Everyone's like that. People love watching the evil turn over a new leaf, but they also enjoy watching good people fall into an abyss from one slip-up just as much. But how could... Uh, never mind. If Callus was really falsely accused, we have to find the truth. He didn't deserve to have that happen to him. And there is one other thing. Master Callus's opponent in the duel was Ms. Clorand. Isn't that as good as say? Yeah, that's not the sort of thing that you can just let go and move on from. Miss Clorand has always placed great emphasis on the honorable nature of the duel. If her opponent doesn't yield, she will not stop either. She knew Master Callus beforehand and greatly respected him, but seeing how he was resolute in the arena, 
There was only ever one choice she could have made. Mm, it's not that I don't understand her at all. But I... I just can't deal with this yet. Don't worry, Navia. Paimon knows how you feel. You don't have to force yourself to do that. Afterward, Ms. Koran told us that at the start of the duel, Master Callus requested that she ensure Demoiselle Navia's safety. Yes, that is our understanding as well. <sighs> oh, Papa. What madness drove you to ask the person who killed you to take care of me? All right. Anyway, that's the information I wanted to share with you. Even if it did sound like I was just complaining towards the end. Uh, thanks. You two should go and rest. This was quite a day after all. Yeah! I'm on feet. Please, relax and get some sleep. We will ensure you rest soundly. Back to Poisson. It's Spina de Rosula's place of origin, and where we have our headquarters. There's not much for them to do here at the moment. Paimon gets the feeling that you're just trying to get them off your back. But never mind that. When did you get back? Were you waiting here the whole time? No, I just returned after going out for a while. I did some investigating yesterday regarding the name Vache. Wait, so you didn't sleep at all? <laughs> How could I after having such critical new evidence appear? Uh, guess Paimon wasn't speaking for everyone just now, huh? <sighs> Unfortunately, this name seems to have been wiped from existence. It doesn't seem to have a match anywhere. I suspect that those behind this have already taken steps to hinder an investigation from this angle. But... That does prove that this Vache person is a key witness in the incident. Does that mean we're too late, though? No. There is one ray of hope. One place in Fontaine that they would find almost impossible to threaten. No matter how much they wanted to. And that is the archives kept by Chief Justice Neuvillette. A place where detailed files on all the cases in recent years are kept. If the Oceanet you met is one of the young women who went missing recently, we should be able to find some related information there. So Nervalette maintains an archive of case files? Whew. Guess that's the hard-working Chief Justice for you. In that case, let's go talk to him, shall we? Um... Hmm? Aren't you coming along, Navia? Did you get tired? Ah. <sighs> No, it's nothing. Let's go see the Honorable Chief Justice. Please state your business here. 
The Chief Justice is presently occupied with official matters. Huh. This place does look pretty heavily guarded. Guess that proves that Nervalet's files are really secure. Hey, don't you recognize us? Huh? Who are you? Just to be clear, <clears throat> I don't care who you are or who you might be related to. Our rules make no exceptions. See? They've got great discipline, too. Yep, yep. Hyman can tell. If you're here just to crack jokes, I can point you towards the exit. Unlike some, we're busy. So please leave if you don't have a reason to be here. Uh, no, no. What I meant to say is, shouldn't you remember us from a few days ago? We were at the trial of the great magician Linny. Oh, oh, yes, I remember. I read about it in the Steambird. You, you must be Linny's attorneys. Ugh, it's all coming back to me now. We're here today to report and archive some information on a follow-up case. Huh, is that even a thing? Hmm. Of course. Don't worry. We're here on official business. You can trust us. All right, then, I'll let you through. The Chief Justice is just inside. Ah, oh, thanks so much. Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a heart? Please come in. It's all right. Please let me know how I may be of assistance to you. Uh, so you're not mad at us? We're looking for a man called Vache. He may have been an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. If we can find him, we may be able to unearth some key information- Ah, oh, I see. In that case, please wait here a moment while I browse. That Nervalette would be so easy to talk. Unfortunately, I'm quite certain that no one by the name of Vash. There are no records of him either in the files or in my. Traveler? What if you. Is that so? All right then. Ahem. <clears throat> Miss Navia, I can understand how you feel. Your father, Callus, was a truly exceptional man. Mm. And what are you trying to say, Monsieur Nervillet? Are you trying to console me? Extend your sympathy? Or just... no. You are not trying to do any of that. I can hear it in your voice. There's no emotion behind your words. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, I pushed through the guards to talk to you as a last resort. You even told me then that you thought there was something fishy with the case, yet you still- In your eyes, the value of a human life is n- If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Why didn't you give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away? Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest effort could have changed. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. So many questions. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Navia. 
You and my father are truly alike. You keep all kinds of things in your heart and never say a word to anyone. It's not so much that you can't feel, but that you would never express anything. Oh well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the my apologies for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. Navia, are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, rain. It's raining. You're right. Wasn't it still sunny when we went into the building? And there shouldn't be any active trials today. How strange. Now that I think of it, on the day my father was convicted of murder, it was also raining. Did you think of something? Yeah, he was outside. It was uncovered and the rain could fall there. Why? Do you think the rain could have affected the crime scene? That thought has occurred to us before. We've even expanded the search area to try to account for that. But didn't find anything of value. Oh? Wait. Uh, you don't mean... So you're saying that the true murderer could have been turned into water? And then got washed away with the rain? Yeah! And if that's what had happened, then no one would have believed your dad, even if he explained what he saw to the authorities! I really think I found a true genius for a partner. Alright, let's go to Poisson. With this new lead in mind, we'll get to the bottom of my father's case for sure. For sure this time! Do you want to go with me now? Or do you want to head over by yourself later? Great! Let's go then! There's no need to be so surprised. While it may look like a ship, it's actually Spina di Rosula's headquarters. My father was the one who asked for it to be built like this. Perhaps our taste in exterior design is the only thing we occasionally had in common. A gigantic and glamorous ship embodies discovery, opportunity, ambition, and conquest. It symbolizes Spina di Rosula's bright and limitless future. And Paimon thought you were bluffing when you said Spina di Rosula had a glorious past. Paimon was confused why a group with such a history would live in the sewers. But now that Paimon has seen this ship for herself, she's been con- Well, Poisson is where Spina di Rosula began, after all. It's-
news! We're back! Apologies for the wait, demoiselle, and our most... You said before that you still had some business. Uh, about that. It's because my partner here reminded me of something really important. You see, what if my father's case had something to do with water from the primordial sea? You still remember, right, Malus? On that night, it was raining? Yes, the case was quite similar to that of Mr. Linney's. But... Could you tell us a bit more about what happened? Yeah, of course. Many years ago, something called synth began to gain popularity in Poisson. At a glance, it was a kind of drink that could excite your mood and produce many pleasant hallucinations. Wait! Didn't that guard guy who turned into water all... Yes, he did. Considering what we know now, it's almost certain that synth is created using water from the... If you drink synth for an extended amount of time, you'll suffer many side effects, such as... And if you were to stop drinking it completely, you'll experience flashes of paranoia and anxiety while lacking energy to do anything. It's an extremely dangerous substance. As he oversaw Poisson, my father was compelled to put a stop to synth abuse and called for a complete ban of it. Boss's uncompromising attitude incurred the synth vendor's wrath. But no matter how much they threatened or br Not only that, Boss became determined to find the mastermind behind- Yes, but the enemy was very cunning. <laughs> so he could never get anything out of the dealers. All of whom only sold the stuff and weren't privy to the rest of the operation. Recognizing that, my father decided to contact the dealers in secret and cultivate personal relationships. The man's name was Jacques. He felt greatly ashamed about his work. After that night, my father hosted a banquet at his countryside estate. He planned to meet up and... But then, we heard two gunshots from the courtyard. We raced to the scene and found my father, still holding a gun. And Jacques, who was already dead... Huh? How did that happen? Oh, sounds just like Lenny's case, doesn't it? In both cases, the culprit seemed obvious. But neither appeared to have any motive at all. Looking back on it, though... I now believe the most important clue was something we all overlooked at the time. Precisely. It's all thanks to you that I made the connection now. Back then, we all just thought they were some costumes that Jacques used to disguise himself at the banquet. But, considering it now, it's almost certain that they belong to a third person at the scene. With one extra person, we'll all- You're right. We still don't know what happened. But my intuition tells me that we're on the right track to figuring it all out. <laughs> I'm finally headed towards the truth. Jacques was an empathetic man who was... In I think this third... On that note, however, even our opponent is in... Even though Spina de Rosula has lost most of its former glory, Poisson, there is no need to follow your father's path. If that's indeed what he wished for... Then he should have told me that himself. Was I not the closest person to him? And yet, I was the one mo- What was the point of him dying without sharing any of the secrets he knew? Did he manage to- Synth is still here. Callus the Unfaithful is still his epithet. And Spina di Rosula is barely getting by. Did he think I'd just accept his meaningless death? And live out my life just as- I've never accepted that. Ever. Not since that day, and certainly not now. I want to find out the real answer for everyone's sake. For the missing girls, for the- Olivia. This is indeed the best moment to act. Your partner appeared- So you do know something else, Malus. Yes, I do. In fact, even bef- But what drove all the tensions to the boiling point was the revelation that you, Demoiselle- What? Boss also didn't tell you that he and the serial disappearances five years was nowhere near enough time to resolve this long st Knowing all of this, he decided to use one final intimidation tactic before it. But as long as you remain safe, if something were to happen to you, then he and all those he told would immediately expire. Right, so nobody would be able to get off sc As we've seen, Boss's tactic has worked. Even though Boss has been gone... No, I don't believe it. He never appeared... To... No father wants their daughter to see them weak and haggard. Especially someone as proud as Boss. To him, dying in a duel and suffering lasting dishonor as the unfaithful. <laughs> so he chose to die in silence. 
so that he could protect me. I'm afraid you're not understanding this correctly, demoiselle. If Boss's spirit could hear you telling me, I'm sure he'd be extra. Uh, that fool. <laughs> no. He might have set up everything precisely because he never... Is that the amount of confidence he had in me? And what if I was never able to make it to where I am now? Yeah. I suppose that's true. With the way he'd set things up, but thankfully, he rarely talked to me about complex matters, and thus understood little of me as a person. In this... Huh. Malus, what was the key evidence that... It's the location where Synth, when he was threatening the enemy boss, didn't share the specific... But if you want to use it against the... Why? If we know where the place... You mustn't forget that we're fighting against a mysterious and there's no telling what might be lying. But a single visit, the worst case would be that we leave. Then, in that case, why not... Well, you saw one of them dissolve during Mr. Linney's case. Huh. That's true. But things are different now. It should be a lot easier to prove the other side's guilt. Now that we've connected Synth with the disappearances... You sound like you've put a lot of thought into... I am the butler, after all. I've always been willing to take on any kind of risk. Thank you for all of that, Malus. Have you discovered anything new in the past... Let me think. One conclusion I came to was when I announced orders to the organization's members on Demoiselle's behalf, if the vendors didn't change their plans, then the individual... After several rounds of testing and investigative trace, the first is Florent. Huh? Florent? Yes, yeah, surprising, isn't it? He was one of the people boss... Thanks to his position within Boss's innermost circle, there's someone else like him too. Marcel. The head of conf... Uncle Marcel. It's a guild in Poisson. A boss helped it to grow to... In the beginning, they were only reselling some daily goods, but now... So, they're like a sister? Yes, you can say that. It's a bit difficult to imagine... The final suspect is Thierry. The man responsible for coordinating information between... Although the guards mostly leave us to our own devices, there are since Terry is always in the know about our current activity. I see. These are to think that the enemy we've been fighting against has been right next. If you want to investigate them, please. Mm, of course. And thank you, Malus. You're too kind, my lady. Uh, and before I forget, uh, proving boss. After that incident, Jacques' wife and daughter were taken into the speed. If it might help, you could also pay them a visit. Oh, thank you so much. A new case awaits, my dear partner. I hope we can work together to uncover the truth and end this case once and for all. It is settled, then. Please excuse me, and enjoy- Thank you for arranging everything for us, Malus. Excuse me, miss. <clears throat> oh. Hey, Navia's all quiet. This isn't like her at- I'm sorry that I only came to visit after all this time. <sighs> after what happened, I, I didn't know how I was supposed to face- Ah, if it's about that, there's no need to apologize. After my- But aren't all of those things nothing compared to the loss of Jacques? <sighs> I can understand the kind of pain that comes with losing a father so near- You don't understand it. I didn't know how to face you. Because I didn't know what I could possibly bring as a consolation gift. I know only the full truth could bring closure to you. And- Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I appreciate this on the matter regarding my husband. My daughter and I- Would you mind sharing it with me? I always knew that my husband's money was earned through others' suffering. He told me countless times that if he could turn back the clock, he would never- He had many regrets, and felt that he took the idea of providing- So when Mr. Callis came to him with a proposal, he accepted it almost immediately. He tried to be as careful as he could, but even- They found out- A Papa didn't say that exactly. Before he left that day, he told me that he had no choice. 
It was only... I don't know that for sure. But you... Which is why I'm the one who should feel guilty. Callus, even if he fired the shot that killed my husband, it was... But Mama, why is pa Papa always wanted to be a good man? Well, things aren't always as they seem. Yeah, Papa was a really good man. Then you should hold on to that. If a good man had to do a bad thing, then he must have had his reasons, regardless of whether he left you a parasol or a sword. He must... Oh, thank you for everything you've told me. I will definitely find the truth. Thank you. Even though your personality is quite different from your father's, your determination when you speak is really similar. You really think so? That's the first time anyone said that to me.